Hi Old School fans, I'm Dan, Old School Conditioning Training Man and this is Old School Conditioning Training. Welcome to the Great Victorian Strength and Fitness Experiment. Right, okay, we're on day one, week one, version 2.0. <laughs> right, okay, so we're in part two now, okay. Strength and Conditioning Training from 155 years ago from the manuals of Professor Charles Harrison using the English and French Dumbbell Method and my hammer training exercises that are inspired by my interest in Indian clubs and inspired also by the Indian clubs in Professor Charles Harrison's manual and also from uh, some dumbbell exercises from uh, William Wood's manual of 1869 written in New York City in 1869. Right, so were the equipment we're going to use, okay? Um, there's 12 exercises, so for the dumbbell exercises, okay, this is how it's going to roll over the next 10, 10 weeks, okay? Because we've got 18 months, okay, to do this. Because what, what I'm trying to find out is because Professor Harrison says that if you follow his manual, you two, like him, will be able to heft uh, 70 pound dumbbells doing these exercises in each hand. Well, I want to see if that's true, okay? So, for the dumbo exercises, I, I'm just going to start at 10 reps, okay? He says start at 5 and then work up to 50 using anything from a 5 pound dumbbell. But <clears throat> I'm going to start with, for some of the exercises, I'm going to start with 25 pound dumbbells, okay? Even for 10 reps, that's going to be quite easy, but we're going to be banking strength, okay? The next 10 weeks is all about banking strength. And then for the other exercises, which are going to be more, a little bit more difficult, okay, I'm going to use 15 pound dumbbells. Okay, I even those 10 pound lighter, those exercises are going to be very hard. Okay, some of them you're going to find easier, some of them you'll find much more difficult. Okay, and then for the French dumbbell, okay, we're going to use a barbell with two and a half kilo uh, biscuits on the end. Okay, trust me, it'll be quite hard for 10 reps. And then over the 10 weeks, I right, doing this two days a week with a body weight element in for a third strength component day. Over the 10 weeks, I'm gonna try and get to the 50 reps at these weights before I then move up a weight, drop the reps down, not to 10, but a little bit higher, and then work up to 50, and then see over the 18 months if I can get to 70 pound dumbbells in each hand, okay? Right, on for the hammer, which is the, for the hammer training, which is the strength conditioning part of the workout, okay? I'm gonna use for the next 10 weeks, a 14 pound hammer for the mace swing, okay? Um, I'm gonna do that for 10 minutes, okay? Five minutes in each direction. And then I'm gonna do a second hammer exercise, which is a, I'm gonna use a seven pound hammer for the single arm hammer swing and flow drill. Okay, I'm gonna do that for six minutes, three minutes in each direction, okay? And then building it up, I add in a minute each week, all right? And, and then see where we get to. And then at the end of the 10 weeks, I'll switch to uh, a, a heavier hammer for the single arm and I'll start making a much heavier mace. Okay, so the next 10 weeks, all right, it's all about banking strength, okay, and slowly building up to the 50 reps. Now, I did say about a, um, a body weight component as a third strength element within this. The reason why I'm putting that in, okay, is because later on down the line, we're going to be doing some exercises from William Wood's Manual of Gymnastic and Athletic Exercise, and there's some pretty tough stuff in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the progression standards from the Bodyweight 101 training series that I put up um, a little while ago, starting from press-ups on the wall, all right, and over the next 10 to 20 weeks, I right, to see how far it gets me to um, doing full pull-ups and hands-down press-ups. Okay, all right, and then that should give us a good grounding as we move forward into uh, William Wood's gymnastic exercise and athletic exercise manual from 1869. Okay, because there's some really tough stuff in there, guys. Right, <clears throat> let's get going. Right, 
The first exercise, right, okay, each exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna do for 10 reps, okay, and then gonna get a 60 second rest. All right, and then all the way through the exercises. Right, so, <clears throat> first exercise is an alternate hammer curl and shoulder press, followed by a double arm hammer curl and overhead press with the dumbbells. That's one rep, okay? All right, so really, we're gonna be doing 20 reps on each, okay? And begin. I'll start again, and begin. One. Two. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, put the time wrong. All right, like I said, we get a sixty second rest in between each exercise, right? That really wasn't that difficult uh, for 10 reps, okay? I have done 50 reps at that when I did it last week, all right? So it is within my little, but I'm having to switch up and uh, when I did it last time, I had to switch up and down dumbbell. So I wanna keep it a little bit more uniform. So that's why on some of the easier exercises, I'll just keep it down so I can level it out a little bit. All right, 20 seconds to go. All right, the next one is, all right, it's a bicep exercise. All right, just dragging your arms up your body, up the sides, okay, up towards your armpits. All right, reset it. Again, I'm going to use a 25 pound dumbbell for this. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. I think I might have missed one, I might do an extra one. Eleven. All right. Sixty seconds rest again. Again, that wasn't particularly difficult, okay. All right, but you know. Once you start getting into more reps, these do get very, very difficult, even with light weights. You know, and again, like I said, we're working up to one set of 50 reps per exercise, okay? And then once you get to that, you drop the reps down, increase the weight. All right, and like me on some of these that you do find them quite easy, you could do a lot more. Don't worry about that at the moment if you're gonna follow it the way I'm doing it. Your bank strength. If you wanna do it with lighter weights uh, and focus more on higher reps at the start, then that's, that's fine, you, you do it. As long as you work to within five and 50 reps, just use a weight that allow you to do that and then you just make the jumping weight once you can do the 50 reps under control. All right. The next one, okay, it's a twisting exercise. Holding oh, dumbbells out straight. Okay, that one was quite hard. Yeah, that one was with 15 pound dumbbells. Next exercise is just a rolling punch dumbbell drill. We've got about 30 seconds left of our rest. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Right, so I'm gonna use the 15 pounds for this one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna do it left leg, right arm leading, so we're punching first with the left arm. It's gonna look like I'm doing it a different way around, but it's because I've got the selfie camera on, so. All right, so into a Boxer stance, right arm, left leg leading, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, again, so another 60 seconds rest. That was exercise four. Round one. The next one uh, is a chest exercise. Um, we know it today as a, as a, as a fly, uh, but this time it's done from the standing position, okay? 
All right. So basically you're going to hold the dumbbells out in a crucifix position, bring them together in front of you, tensing the chest muscles as you do it, and then holding them in line with the shoulders as they go back out. Again, this will be done with a 15 pound dumbbell, because this does get quite difficult. Ten seconds to go. All right. <coughs> so right, <coughs> standing fly. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, number 60 seconds rest. Again, that does get quite hard, even with a 15 pound dumbbell in each hand. Round one. All right, that was exercise number five, okay? The next exercise is again, the rolling punch, but this time punching with the right arm first. So you're gonna be right arm, left leg leading. Sorry, right leg, left arm leading. All right, last few seconds. Again, this will be done with 15 pound dumbbells. So, get into the boxer stance. This time, my right leg will be forward. Okay, my left arm leading. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, that one's not tremendously difficult, but you know, I can feel my muscles starting to work now. Round one. And as Harrison says in his manual, okay, you work till your muscles are tired, but not overly fatigued. Okay. Because over time, although he doesn't say it, but it's implied when you read between the lines that your endurance, your muscular endurance and strength will grow. 20 seconds. All right, the next one's the first of the French dumbbell exercises, okay? All right, the French dumbbell system uses barbells. Um, why are they called them dumbbells? I don't know. Uh, they can be of any weight, but they say the one stipulation is that it must be taller. It must the, 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 the dumbbell must be longer than you are tall, but I've got um, an Olympic barbell. It's a little bit shorter than a normal one. Okay. Um, but so it's not quite as tall as me, but it's still, this will still be a difficult exercise. Grasp the hands in the middle of the bar. Make sure you've got a good, tight hold of it. All right, and lifting up with the arm and the back as well as, all right, tensing the hamstrings. <coughs> One.
four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That one is actually quite hard. Hamstrings are using that, your abs. Round one. Shoulders, upper back. And also it activates your grip as well. Because you've got to balance the, the barbell in the hand. And because you're lifting a weight as well as you're moving your entire body, right? your entire body, uh, it'll increase your heart rate as well. 20 seconds, right, the next exercise is the same one, but on the opposite arm. So I did it right arm first, so this one will be my left arm. It'll be the opposite way around when you look at it, because like I said, I've got the selfie camera on, so. Right. Next exercise, French dumbbell. One. Two. Three. Six. <coughs> Seven. Eight. <coughs> Nine. the last of the dumbbell exercises from the Eng Professor Charles Harrison's English and French dumbbell method. The last two are the first two exercises that we use pardon me, <clears throat> from William Wood's Gymnastic and Athletic Exercise Manual of 1869. All right, 20 seconds. Right, okay, this one. Let's get into a, a side lunge, both toes facing full forward away from you and grasping the dumbbell in the right hand, hits a bicep curl in um, a, a lunge position to the side.
Okay, right, there's 10 reps on the first one. Again, that's 25 pound dumbbell, that's quite easy for that one. Round one. The next exercise, when our minute's rest is up, is gonna be the same exercise, but lunging and doing the bicep curl with our left arm. Ten seconds. All right. Last of the dumbbell exercises. All right. So we're lunging towards my left. Okay. It's going to look like the other way around for you. So I said I've got the selfie camera on. Right, okay, right. That is the last of the 10 exercises in Professor Hart Charles Harrison's English and French dumbbell method and two that I've added from William Wood's manuals, okay? We're now going to go on to the conditioning phase of our strength and conditioning workout from the Victorian era. And we're going to move on to, like I said, hammers. Okay, all right. So, I'm going to adjust the timer, okay? So, I'll put this on pause and then I'll load it up and then I'll load up the second part and then we'll have a look at um, how the hammer training goes. All right, hope you've enjoyed the workout, okay? If you've been doing it along with me, Great, okay? All right, this just goes to prove that even though it's 155 years old and we're starting off quite easy, okay, you can feel your muscles work, all right? And as you get up the reps, they'll work harder and harder and harder. So you can still see that a 155 year old strength and conditioning program will still work today, okay? Right, I'm Dan, the Old School Conditioning Man. This is Old School Conditioning Training. All right, part B of part two is coming up. See you in a few minutes.